<laughs> I've done this song about a million times. How can I forget it? <laughs> you let me know when we're rolling. Down on the lower part of the property where I've hunted before, I did a little video out here. And uh, I decided because it was low, flat area, it's pretty much the flattest area that we have around the house. I wanted to kind of make some snowshoe trails or a snowshoe trail, um, kind of clear up a little bit of the trail out here. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's a bunch of branches and some trees bent over. It doesn't need to be super wide, but I mean, if we make it wide enough for the tractor, we could get in there with the tractor a little easier without scratching it up or scratching us up or whatever. So I brought my steel GTA 26 down with me. I'm gonna do a little cutting with this. I brought my loppers. I'm gonna try and do a little cutting with that. Scott's on his way down too. He was just uh, sharpening up some of his chainsaw chains. And he switched out mine for me. I bought a new chain for this. And they do have batteries out now. So anybody out there that is looking for chains and batteries and looking for these saws in general, uh, you can get them now. They're out and about. And uh, I believe the chain cost me about $14 and change with tax. And the battery, I checked into it. It was gonna be about $40 plus a little bit of change for tax. So that's pretty good to know that that uh, we're able to get that stuff. So my next purchase will be a couple batteries for this so that I'll have some extra when I'm out doing stuff like this or if I'm out snowshoeing and we have a tree go down or something, I'll have enough battery life so that I can kind of clean up the trails and stuff. But I want to get started with this, so let's go. Stop it. 
Wow, this new chain on here. This is nice and sharp. Zips right through everything. Scott was able to sharpen my old chain, so that's really nice that I have two. Something happens, I get this in the dirt, and I need to switch it over. Right now, this thing's working awesome. Still got battery power. I'm gonna keep going. We've got this big one here. I'm gonna wait for Scott to come down and he can either saw it in half or he can uh, use the tractor or he can help me anyway. Get this guy out of the way. But I'm just gonna keep going with the branches and things like that, that I can do with this. There's a little bit of it. Still that big log there in the road, but that's okay. That can be taken out. And then I've got some branches up here that probably should come down if you want to come through the tractor. They would probably hit the ropes and the canopy. So we'll need to get those, but Scott's a little taller than I am. He might be able to get that or I can get him with the loppers. But it's looking clearer anyway. This is looking good.
sweating. Yeah, Shouldn't be. It's friggin' 45 degrees out. <laughs> Working, I guess. The glasses are steaming up too. Yeah. Oh, the line must be coming up here pretty soon. The line is until we get over there quite a ways. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if we would go just before the line and then... Well, his, find... build, his building is almost at the line. I know. So. But we'll find a place wherever looks good to like, head in that way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
well, we didn't finish, but uh, we got a big chunk of it done. Batteries are starting to die. My chainsaw battery died, and uh, cell phone battery is going. So we're going to call it quits for today. Big orange coming through the woods. Coming at you. Down our new trail. Woohoo! good productive day. Thanks for watching guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one.